everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing an Aliexpress Kylie lip kit review for you guys so starting off jumping straight into it I started with Coco K the first thing I noticed about these lip kits is that the lip liners definitely did not match most of the liquid lipsticks I found that the liquid lipsticks on their own were so much more of a color match than the actual ones. You can see Coco K is supposed to be a really nice light baby pink and the lip liner was definitely like a hot pink. The actual liquid lipstick itself though, I felt like was actually a pretty good match. You can see here that the match looks pretty spot on to Coco K and it's definitely that baby pink color but that lip liner underneath definitely needs to be switched out with something a little bit lighter so that I'm really getting that full effect. Next, I had Candy K, which is the one I was most excited about. Candy K is supposed to be a beautiful pinky mauve color that matches everyone's skin tone. And first thing I noticed is that the cap looked like this was going to be a great lip liner. But once again, it was a ridiculous color. It was like a hot, hot pink, hotter than the Coco K lip kit, which was completely astonishing for me. I was really sad about that but the actual lip kit itself was amazing and I really, really loved it. It's too bad because the lip liner just does not do it any justice and you really can't tell. So now I'm just finishing up the color and you know, the finish is great, the wear is great, it's just that color match was really off. So you can see here, it just doesn't look right, it's way too pinky. Moving on into Dolce K. Dolce K was actually one of the ones that I really was surprised with, the lip liner actually matched pretty well. Um, I do have two actual Kylie lip kits, one being in Exposed and the other being in Mary Jo K. And usually I get a good idea of their texture of their formula. So for this one, Dolce actually wasn't too bad. I really did like the lip liner. I did feel like the formula was a little bit too gray for my liking, um, but I noticed that in Kylie's actual color, she kind of has it a little bit gray too. So I wasn't sure, but all in all, I felt like this was a decent color. You could wear it out if you wanted. The next one I have is Posey K, and this was actually my favorite one out of the whole collection. I really, really loved how this one went on and how it looked. I felt like I didn't need to layer it. It wasn't patchy. The lip liner was actually somewhat matching. Um, and just so you guys know, the formula for these is very drying. Never expect something that's gonna be super moisturizing from these because they're just not. Um, it's something that keeps the lasting power and the streakiness away because they're just glued on there. Um, so I really did love this one for an everyday. It's super rosy, it's super pretty, and I'm smiling in this clip because I'm really loving it. So moving on, I'm putting on 22. 22 was another color that I was definitely never gonna purchase. It was just way too wild for my liking. So I was like, perfect, this is a great opportunity. The lip liner was actually a really, really pretty color. I really liked it. Um, it's definitely a more muted version of the liquid lip. And what I found with this liquid lip is that it needed about three coats before it looked not even a little bit patchy. And I was so surprised at how much color I needed. So I put three coats on, no big deal. And it was completely sticky and gross and I felt like it was just blobbed on there and it was absolutely disgusting. So advice for me, don't put three. I wouldn't even put two if you don't have to because these are just not comfortable at all. They just literally feel like they're never gonna dry. So all in all, I liked the color, but not that many coats. This next one is Mary Jo K, which is the one I have an actual dupe for. And honestly, this one is just more of an orangey red than anything. Um, I feel like Mary Jo K was definitely more of a blue red. This, you can tell, is just a hot red. So definitely not something I enjoy wearing just because I find that it makes my teeth look yellow. So you can see here, not a bad color at all. The payoff is good from one swipe. Really no complaints other than the fact that it's really not a color match for Mary Jo K. And moving on to the next one, this was Court K. And Court K, I already have a color similar to it, which is Rebel by MAC. Um, I find that that color is just a really great lipstick. It's moisturizing, it's comfortable. So this one I wasn't super excited for or really looking forward to. The lip liner was nice. Like again, I said, a muted wine color. But then when I put the actual liquid lipstick on, you could tell this definitely needed about 
two or three shades just like 22. It was something that was not going to look good unless I had layered it completely. So in my opinion, my lips were done at this point and I was like, I am not putting another coat on. No, thank you. But all in all, if you did have the original version, I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful. Mac Rebel, good alternative. The last one I have is True Brown K and I was already just kind of like, eh, I don't really care about this one because I'm not a brown lipstick person. I never will be. It's just not my scene and this one was an utter and complete failure the lip liner is like a mahogany brown so it's somewhat doable but the actual color itself was like a cool toned brown complete opposite of what the actual lip kit looks like and i was super 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 disappointed all in all if you're willing to spend 23 dollars to wait almost three weeks to get your aliexpress package by all means go for it but i will say i don't know what the ingredients are I don't think they are all very color friendly and I definitely think that there's better quality out there for cheaper such as NYX or other great brands. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.